All right, what I have here is a nice new aluminum wheel. We chose to go with the new aftermarket wheel just because the original wheels on the car certainly don't show off the paint or do any justice to the calipers that we painted with the VHC caliper paint. And what this wheel will do, it has plenty of room in between the spokes here, you know, to show off the calipers and the drums that we painted. And uh, we chose to two-tone this wheel just to, you know, change it up a bit. And what we're going to use on the wheel is the Duplicolor wheel paint. And uh, we chose the gray just to twist it up a little bit. I know we're gonna, we wanted to stick with the orange and black theme, but this will give the wheel a real nice uh, transition with the rest of the body. And uh, with any paint project, when you're going to be uh, having a lot of uh, aluminum exposed or any bare area, and uh, we're going to paint the center part here, you're going to want to use a high quality tape whenever, paint, whenever you tape this off. The reason for that is because you want to get a real crisp line in between your painted surface and your bare surface. So we chose to use a pinstriping tape that you would use on a paint job on a body. And, uh, and what I'm going to want to do also is scuff down the area to be painted because sometimes these uh, polished aluminum wheels are clear coated. So you're going to want to scuff it down, break that glossiness so the paint has something to bond to. And after that I'm going to use the dupe color prep spray and then the wheel coating on top of that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. All right, just put down the last piece of tape here. Okay, well I'm finished taping the wheel off and uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and scuff this down. Now sometimes you wouldn't tape it off prior to scuffing, but the reason why I did is because you don't want to scuff any areas that you don't want to get scratched. So after I'm done scuffing it, I'm going to spray it down with a Duplicolor Prep Spray and uh, go ahead and wipe that down, let that dry. Then after that I'm going to apply the uh, Duplicolor Wheel Coating here. Uh, what this will do, this will give it a, a matte finish. Uh, this isn't a glossy finish and we do offer a clear coat for this line. Uh, but, so we are going to go ahead and choose to clear coat it because we do want a glossy finish. But this paint here is an enamel and it's extremely hard. It holds up to road abrasion, it holds up to all the chemicals that you use to clean these wheels and clean your tires. And, uh, and with, the, with the clear coat, you know, like I said, it gives it a real nice high gloss and you can polish that and that it'll hold up real nice. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I'm just giving this a light scuff. You really don't want to go too crazy considering this is aluminum wheel because you don't want to have any gouges that will show through in the paint. So just a light scuffing just to break that, that sheen is all you need to get the paint to stick. And you can go right over top the aluminum with this wheel coating. You don't need a primer or an adhesion promoter, so uh, just a light scuff, lay down the paint, it'll hold up real good, and it'll look even better. All right, with any good paint project comes a little bit of prep, and what we're going to do here is go ahead and apply the Duplicolor Prep Spray. After we taped it off, we scuffed it down, a little bit of prep, you know, get rid of the oils and dirt and dust that was left over from the scuffing. And I'm just going to wipe this on and let it dry for about 10 minutes, make sure it's good and dry before we put the top coat on there. And, uh, you know, as mentioned, prep's most important. It did take just a little bit of time to tape this off, but the results are certainly going to pay off. So uh, just wipe this down here, let it dry, and we'll shoot some of the paint on there. Well, I have this all you know, wiped down with the prep spray, and then now it's time for paint. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and get started, and uh, whenever painting this, you know, a small confined area like this, you really don't need a whole lot of long sweeping motion, so you're just going to kind of want to lightly spot it here and there, just dust it on, and uh, make sure you're still putting it on nice and even, because you don't want any runs. There's a lot of area to cover here, a lot of little hard to reach areas. So we have the conical valve on here. And you don't want a real heavy first coat. Mainly because you want something for the second and third coats to bond to. So you're just going to kind of want to lightly cover it and then go ahead over that with the second and third. All right, well I laid down about three to four good coats of clear on this wheel. 
And I'll tell you what, it sure turned out real nice. That's exactly the look that we were going for. So what, what I went ahead and did, I, it's been about three hours since we, let the, or since we painted this. And uh, it dries to the touch in about an hour. You can handle it in about three hours, but we let it dry about three to four hours because we're going to go ahead and peel all this tape off of here and we don't want to damage our finish. So uh, I'm going to peel this tape off. We'll get some tires mounted on here. We'll go ahead and throw these on the car. It'll look real good. All right, what I'm doing here is I'm peeling the tape. Any area that you have the tape right up against the paint, you would want to peel the tape away from the paint because if you peel it with or into the paint, you might end up peeling the paint along with it. So you're always going to want to peel the tape away from your job. Here's a good shot. 